Hi, I'm Kai and today we want to have a look on the parts management in ePlan, how we can change the view on it and the representation. So stay tuned. So when we open the parts management, you can see here that you have a structure. You have these categories and also maybe subcategories. And in ePlan we have various possibilities to change this view. So first of all, we can change here from tree view to list view. This is a very easy thing, but I think the most people work with the tree view. In case you want to change, for example, here the terminals, so that you don't have so many subcategories, or you want to have it a little bit easier to find something, you can also change this. Therefore, we go to extras and settings. And here we have the tree view configuration. And when we click on the more button, we can create our own scheme. So therefore we click on the plus, but before we have a short look on the existing one, you can see here the record type and the main nodes. So record type basically is exactly what you see here in our parts management. That means you can change the nodes for each of them. We click on the new button and create our own scheme. And now you can see that per default, you have the part already here. And for my example, I just change here the parts. What you get automatically is the generic product group, record type and product group. We keep it as it is and click on save and use this scheme. And you see now that you don't have subcategories and not no folders for the manufacturers. If you want to add something like this, we go back to the setting. And we can, for example, add here now the supplier. and click OK, save it, and have now a folder for the supplier. In case, like for example for this terminal, you have not fill in the supplier. Here the value is missing, that means you will get an empty folder. It can make sense to have different tree views, because maybe you have different people in the company who are using your parts management. Some may be use it for engineering and some really creates parts. And then it can make sense to have different tree configurations for different applications. So the next problem we have is that, for example, this part here, we have no idea about the type number. So I don't know how good you are in remember the numbers, but I'm definitely better in remember the product names. So when we have a look in the, pro in the properties, you can see that this is one of the new push X terminals from Phoenix Contact, XTV6. But from this view, you have no idea that this is the XTV6. And when you want to change now, for example, to a PT2.5 or something like this, it is not so easy. So therefore, we want to change also here the representation. So we make a right click, configure representation, and we want to do it also just for our part. So we can make a new scheme. I just do it now in the default scheme. And we can add here a new element, for example, the type number. I can also move it up click OK and click OK. And now you can see that here is also the information for the XTV6 terminal. And when you want to change now to, uh, for example, PT2.5, you can easily select it here. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your Iblan skills.